This is Striker of Enyo. It's Fallout 4, and I'm going to show you one of the best workshops uh, possibly in the game. Uh, this is Spectacle Island. Uh, you can actually make this entire island uh, buildable. And it's actually a, a high-level uh, area. You're going to need to probably come prepared. Uh, what you'll see is there's a shack on top. Now, when you get to here, then you've discovered the place. Okay, now you can travel back to it. We're going to show you on the map right here. It's uh, just across from Warwick Homestead and the castle. Uh, you can swim to it from either place. Uh, but I recommend you come in the south way. Uh, you're going to have some pretty bad creatures there. Now you'll probably see this boat. Um, the boat's kind of cool. Do not start the generator uh, right there yet. Uh, you know, the, the boat's kind of cool, but come here first. If anything, there's a luck bobblehead uh, in the captain's cabin. So get up there. You just, just use the ladder, idiot. And, uh, yeah, if you come in the south way the way that I did, you'll be able to not have anyone spawn. And uh, you just go in the captain's cabin. Uh, that's at the very top. Uh, turn around, and in a locker, you will see the luck bobblehead. That'll instantly give you... Uh, plus one to that. So yeah, that's pretty handy, isn't it? Well, now we need to uh, we need to know how to turn on the generator, right? So so let's see how we do that. Uh, like I said, it's a great place. Uh, let's. This is how we get the power on. So go back up to that shack that we saw on top of the hill. Now you're gonna get merlurks here. Uh, you're gonna get the shop cell kind. You're gonna get uh, the Murloc uh, Hunters. You'll probably even get the Murloc uh, Kings as well. So th this is gonna be a little bit of a fight. You need to come here with, with some upgraded weapons and whatnot, and armor, stim packs, uh, damage resistance. Uh, as you can see, I only had to fight a couple of here. So this is the shack. And as you can see, you know, it's, it's an island. It's pretty nice. It, yeah, it's, it's right in the center. We know where it's at, moron. Yep, there's the castle right over there. So it's a quick swim. Um, like I said, Warwick Homestead is perfect. There's no creatures in the water. Uh, there's the workshop, and it'll tell you that you can't use the workshop. Now there's a power, there's a signal checklist, there's a power switch, you'll notice, right to the right of that. So it basically tells you make sure the wires of the generator are connected. It's also saying that the generator must be on before turning on the signal and that you should uh, uh, watch the water when you turn it on. Now there's a reason for that. You're going to get a Merler Queen. So they want you to follow the wires to the boat, right? So as soon as you turn on that engine, you're going to have to deal with one of the giant monsters in the game. And the nice thing is that, uh, okay, yeah, you find the circuit breaker. Now uh, just flip it open, uh, turn it on, and that will activate her. It'll also activate a few other uh, enemies as well. Uh, yeah, she's she's kind of in my way. Yeah, there's the uh, Meyer Lurk, maybe it's called? I don't know. Meyer Lurk, Mer Lurk. So there's also a fat man in here. Um, and this, I happen to have a stealth boy. That might be dependent upon uh, your level. But yeah, there's a fat man there, so you can take that, and it will give you a good one shot to use on the queen. Uh, you can actually stay in here. You'll be uh, relatively safe. You can kind of shoot her from the doorway on the left and the right. Your partner will probably shoot her as well. But okay, we skipped the fight because she can be a pretty good pain. So once you take her out, yeah, you'll you'll have the little hatchlings as well. Like I said, it, it's kind of a nasty place, especially the kings. So, now you let's say you have the tower turned on. Now, you need to jump out and take four rads right away. Uh, well, you need to activate the power switch that's actually in the place. So, uh... And as you get up there, you are going to be attacked again. Now, you can run straight there and turn the switch on, because as soon as you turn that switch on, a siren will go off, and it'll get rid of the enemies. As you'll see about right here. See, there's the power cord coming down. That's the circuit breaker. So you switch that. And now it's on. 
Now the siren is going off. Uh, all you gotta do is kind of survive a little bit. It will mostly chase them away, as you can tell. Uh, they are actually running away. Uh, yeah, there's nothing in the workshop, you idiot. Did I already take stuff? Maybe this doesn't come with anything. So yeah, that actually being on will chase creatures away. It's kind of nice. Well, I mean, it chases them. I, I don't believe it's something you can actually buy. And now, the workshop is active. So look, you can take out trees. As you can see, it, the line goes all the way down to the coastline. It's, it's pretty generous, and it's pretty cool. This is, uh, it's a pretty good size island. Uh, and as you can see, a lot of these trees you can obviously take down and get rid of. Um, yeah, that's the whole island right there. It's actually a really nice size. The only bad thing is that the ground is kind of uneven. Uh, there's also a barge that is apparently uh, slammed into the side where there's tons of shipping containers. Uh, you've got a lot of washers and dryers, I believe, in there. Uh, you know, some nooks and crannies you can check out, and uh, there's some radiation, sure, but uh, you're going to have stuff to check it out at this point. Uh, but it's a really great place. Uh, one of the shipping containers has a number of safes. I believe it depends on your level. It might not on how many of these doors are actually there, but, you know, you can check out some safes. It's just going to have your standard loot, nothing too special. There's a few other... Uh, environments around there. I mean, there's a few other structures, like there's that. Okay, so this is about removing the trees and debris. So as you can see, uh, we're gonna start here. You know, that's your workshop, that's the circuit breaker. It requires five power. I believe the boat actually gives it 20, the generator in it. So uh, this, is, this is all the trees. So here we go with all the trees. Um, you'll see that our size is actually uh, a little bit less than half. So see, you, you see all these trees. We're going to remove most of them and show you just how much this island can really open up. Because you can literally take out all of them. Uh, you got a couple buildings back there and um, a few things you can use. A place to put power armor. Not a whole lot of places for beds. You're going to need to add something. Okay, so here we go. Now we've removed a lot of the trees. We, we've kept a couple there, uh, just to have maybe some wires to put on. As you can see, you can see the boat much clearer. You know, I, I left a few up. I believe this, I should have kept the size size there, but, uh, because you don't see the size, I don't think it really changed too much. See, I left a couple trees in the way, but, uh, it's not too big. I don't know if it really affected the overall size, if it really took away any objects. But you don't really need a whole lot of trees. So as you can see, it cleans up pretty good. Um, there's actually a lot of other stuff on the island, like fences that you can instantly turn to scrap. There's old tires and whatnot. There's a number of things that you can scrap. I mean, this will give you a lot of wood. Then again, this is more of a higher level uh, area. Remember, radioactive barrels, you just go up to it, you, you hit the scrap button, and uh, and scrap again, and you get rid of them. So you don't need to take uh, radiation. Yeah, there's a couple more in the water still I didn't quite get. And then radiation is completely safe. You know, you can do that at the, the drive-in as well. You know, go in the middle, uh, you just gotta get your cursor on there, take some rad X if you need it. Yeah. Take rad X ahead of time. You know, there's steel barrels here you can scrap them for some needed stuff I mean look look there's all these wooden things you don't need those as well um, you know they, they can't be used really for anything so it gives you a lot of resources that you can you know instantly put in there uh, a lot of wood you can put a roof on that house as you see there's barges out there like a barge and a couple of boats sadly there's there's really nothing out there um, no special items I could find. Yeah, that boat out there, too. They're cool. Uh, you can't build out to them, of course. But, I mean, you can see. You can stretch something out into the water. The only bad thing is the fact that the island is pretty hilly. Um, those tires and stuff, you can take them out. That's one of the pre-made structures. That's, uh, that's there on the island. As you can see, I just added to the garden. I added this middle shack here to give your p people a place to sleep. Because you really don't have a place that has enough room for beds and whatnot at first. So just plop down a pre-made shack. There you can see uh, the, 
part of the workshop over there. You could probably slap a, a roof on that house in the background. But uh, like I said, it's a great place. Just come prepared for a little bit of a fight. It's not necessarily the last place you would go to, but come on, it's an island. It's on your map. You're probably thinking, oh, I might not be ready to go there. But uh, yeah, cabinet, uh, you know, chemistry station, you know, nothing, nothing too extreme. Um, power armor place. But, uh, but yeah, it's actually pretty cool, and you know what? Uh, set up a beacon, and before you don't, you'll have a lot of settlers there. Uh, put out a number of, of turrets, and you'll have enough defense. It's a pretty cool place, and like I said, it it's nearly at, like, what, 35% or maybe 40? It gives you a lot of room to build. I mean, you really can create something cool, and I think that's kind of what they did. So, yeah, I mean, please, check this place out. Uh, thanks for watching. Take it easy.